Once again, we find ourselves on the brink of war. It is believed that it's our military which brings all Americans from every walk of life together. That may be true, but war doesn't bring humanity together. Video games do. When it comes to game development in Iran, there are many challenges. Censorship from the Iranian Islamic government. Sanctions from the United States government. AAA pirated games having to compete with Iranian made games. But that doesn't stop small game developers from following their passion and continue to make games regardless of the struggles they face. Only through adversity do we grow. This episode of Games We Play is definitely not about war with Iran. Let the hate stay between the elites and our governments and instead let's spread positivity and joy through video games. In this video I'll be highlighting three games developed by Iranian game studio Dead Mage. Dead Mage's most recent title and most popular outside of Iran is indie hit Children of Morta, which was released in late 2019. Children of Morta is a game about family, the Bergson family, the gardens of Mount Morta, and their struggles as they follow their duty to return peace to their world. You can play as the father John, a proactive warrior with a sword and shield, the elder daughter Linda, a precise archer, Kevin, a quiet fighter equipped with deadly daggers, Lucy, a lively and bold fire mage, Mark, a mindful martial arts fighter, and Joey, who smashes his enemies with a sledgehammer. Chosen Immortal is a mix of action-adventure, roguelite, hack-and-slash game with procedural generated dungeons with a unique boss fight in the end. It's also such a beautiful game thanks to the hand-painted pixel art and frame-by-frame -frame animations. Before the release of Children of Morta, Dead Mage Studio was known for the video game Garshup the Monster Slayer, a huge game in Iran. Garshup the Monster Slayer is a hack and slash action adventure game similar to the first God of War games. However, instead of Greek mythology, Garshup is based on ancient Persian mythology, and you fight against monsters based on Persian literature. You play as Garshup, the strongest man in Persian mythology, on a journey to revenge and reclaim the legendary mace of his ancestors. Garshup Monster Slayer was released in 2011 for the PC and is available on Steam for $4.99 and for a 10 year old game it still holds up well. Dead Mage follow up to Children of Morta is shaping up to be something quite unique, interesting to say the least. Tale of Ronin looks to be a side-scrolling role-playing game about camaraderie and betrayal, war and peace, and above all, honor. According to the Bushido Shoshinshu, The Code of the Warrior, a samurai is supposed to commit haraki, cutting the belly, a form of ritual suicide upon the loss of his master. Ronin is a term used for a samurai without a master that chooses not to honor the code and is meant to suffer great shame. What intrigues me about the tale of Ronin is the presentation, the art style and animation. It looks like you're playing within a Japanese painting. The strokes of watercolor and thick ink with the occasional splash of color is beautiful and it's a game I can't wait to play when it's eventually released. It's difficult to predict the future of the United States and the Iranian government. They seem hell bent on mutual destruction. So instead I put my faith within the people and focus on what brings us together. Family. Tradition honor, and video games. <laughs>